Today we're off into space to discuss important things with aliens, off to the school of witchcraft and wizardry, not that one, and also finding everything amusing. Well, you'll see. This is Trailer Talk. Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is Trailer Talk, the show where I'm going to be looking at three upcoming adventure games, looking at their trailers, and then just dissecting them and having a go at them all. We probably won't do that. We'll probably really, really praise them, to be honest. But if this is your first time here, I only create adventure game content from classics like Monkey Island and Broken Sword through to games that are going to be on today's video so if that sounds like your cup of tea make sure you hover down below and hit the subscribe button and the like button because it really shows youtube that adventure games are here to stay thanks very much there was a running theme in today's trailers if you get it make sure you note it down in the comments below and i'll let you know at the end what it is anyway let's look at trailer uno now move on you're holding up the line line what line there's nobody there. Great. Whoa. What is it? A radio or something? Someone must have hidden it a long time ago. Hello, son. You must be wondering where I am. Trust me, Elroy. If you don't go after this, You'll regret it forever. Mind control signals, they're everywhere. Faster! Commencing self-destruct sequence. Ten, nine, eight. Wait! You fools! You have to stop them! I know exactly where they are headed. I kind of feel like we're being watched. Hola, habla espanol. Elroy and the aliens right there from Motivity who are based in Slovenia. It's all about ancient languages, um, aliens and apparently there's over 60 different locations to discover and 60 different characters as well it reminds me of gibbous and a little bit of last year's soul 705 which both games i really enjoyed and the hand-drawn animation is superb it can be quite difficult to pull off that cartoony uh, vibe and uh, but the jokes added in the trailer there it all seems to mesh well together i'm really looking forward to this bonus is that it's also based in 1993 which is the year that Jurassic Park came out which is my favorite film so it's a winner from me they're still working on it though so there's no release date yet I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and wishlist it on Steam and anyway mention Gibbous there let's have a look at this next one have you ever wondered what hidden talents lie within you from the creators of Gibbous a Cthulhu adventure comes an invitation to visit Transylvania and study magic. The time has come to flee the nest. And make your own choices. The Transylvanian Institute for Magic awaits. Choose which spells to craft, use them to change lives, and lift the veil off of ancient mysteries. Learn to be closer to your calling, next to your destiny. Near Mage. It's the follow-up to Gibbous, 
near Maid from Stuck in Attic who are based out of Transylvania. Like I said before, Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure, was really, really good fun and it left a lot of dangling threads, which the developers have said this will hopefully tie up. But it's not a direct sequel, it's more set in the world of Gibbous. In this game, Near Mage, we play as Illy, who's been invited to a school, only, yep, yeah, it's a school for witches. And I don't think she really realises she is a witch. What is a lot different from Gibbous is the fact that there are a few RPG kind of elements in here. It looks like you can design your own character and create your own spells, um, which is one great way for replayability. In the Kickstarter video, it says you can play the game in several different ways, which is always a winner for me. So Gibbous was great fun and it looks stunning and they've just continued that amazing hand-drawn animation. The Kickstarter was smashed in less than 24 hours and as I record this video, it is still live and there's about 20 days left. So go ahead and support it some more. I'll leave both the Kickstarter details and the Steam page down below in the description. So that's Aliens, Witches, and now the third to complete the ultimate trilogy, Cows. The human! They took our human! When cows fly, or when I need something from him, because that's how it works in point-and-click games, right? The Swedish government. We are not certain which government, but at least one of them. Trust no one? A Trail of Ooze from Insanto Studios there. Insanto Studios are made up of people from Sweden, Germany and Great Britain. So yeah, a really good international vibe going on there. The game can be summed up in one line. You're a cow, a talking cow, and you're trying to save the world from an evil corporation. What's not to like about that? <laughs> What I really like about Insanto themselves is that they really share the development of their, of their game and the story that they're doing. Early on in the development, they showed several different pictures of a barn, different roofs, different kind of colours, and they just asked the public, what do they like? And they just went with the answer. So it kind of feels like the public are in on the development as such. It's early days for this, but there is a Kickstarter coming for it. So make sure that you hover down in my description and, um, and go there and add it on your coming soon Kickstarter list, whatever it's called. Um, and, and make sure that you support it when, it when the Kickstarter goes live. So this one really feels like a community game. So it feels like the perfect time to say, come over to my brand new Discord, the Yakwax Lips Discord community server. I'll leave a link to that in the description along with loads of other things down there. Just have a good mosey down below. So that's today's game summed up. Did you get the link? Did you? It was, of course, they're all hand-drawn. It's not really often that we get three hand-drawn games on Trailer Talk. Interesting, is it? I don't know. You tell me. If you're an adventure game developer and you want me to feature your game on the channel, just get in contact with me, yakwaxlips at gmail.com or come and follow me on all the socials, Instagram, Twitter, and now Discord. Um, yeah, and finally, yes, I have started Twitch. Um, I know a lot of you have asked and I've... I've, I've jumped in so there i am i'm on twitch jack wax lips etc that's enough plugging for me thanks very much for watching guys i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon evening whatever it is you're doing right now take care <laughs>